Hello everybody, Jay Farron here with the JRWI PSA. I just wanted to remind everybody that sometimes things suck, but it's okay. You can just walk out. You can leave. Work. Social thing. Family. Girls experimental juices. Cleaning duty. Chips speeches. Your destiny. Eldritch agreements with powerful entities. Giant bug creatures if you're stealthy enough. The Black Sea. If it sucks, hit the bricks. Real winners, quit. Thank you for listening. This has been a JRWI PSA. Previously on the Black Sea, the three of you and your crew arrived at Onoa. You had to break through the trees at the north entrance and to the river that dissected through the island, cutting it into the west end and the east end. You passed by this abandoned port of the north, noticing the decayed town and the shambling corpses wandering throughout. Eventually, you came to the center and what seemed to be the largest port town of the island. Got off on the west side. Seemingly there were not as many of these wandering souls, but you did find a construct. You met marble, who was made of this intertwined organic matter. You received a glass bottle holding a rose which contained a note mentioning something left behind on the east side of Onoa, related to the legacy of the Black Rose. Suddenly, a kinku screamed deeper into the blighted forest. You rushed in to help, and accidentally got into combat with this massive mass. It looked like a longhorn beetle. After accidentally swapping the kinku with this small, excitable turtle, this encounter ended with the infrared laser beam cannon. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I'm glad, I'm, glad we, I'm glad we stuck with it. <laughs> As the horde of the corrupted began to close in. Oh, shit, yeah. And so the journey continues. We pick back up. In this dire circumstance, what you all notice, as these corrupted begin to slowly but surely circle around all of you. Gillian still slumped out. The Kenku who had been set aside and rescued is now smaller. Both of them are. Begins to rush up and try to pull him away. Jay, Chip, you just punted this uh, small turtle <laughs> as it wedged into a tree. I forgot about that. <laughs> like 60 feet away. What yeah. do the two of you do? I'm going to run up to Gillian, um, and I, I would like to... So we're being, like, surrounded by by these uh, entities? Yeah. Uh, Countless okay. of them begin to peek through the shallowed holes between oh, the broken trees, dying trees, dead trees of this forest. Uh, I'm going to cure wounds, Gillian, right now. Oh, thank you, kind sir. Um, I rolled max. Get 12 Yo! hit points. Oh, okay. Get cured, Gillian. Get cured. Wounds be gone. My wounds, they're gone. Mostly, 12 of them. 12 of my wounds are gone. 12 of my 124 wounds. When you rush up to cure wounds, the Kenku is just using their beak to try and pull uh, his armor with their one wing, but they flap as much as they can. They can't get off the ground or even move him an inch. They go, bird, 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 bird. Hey, bird, bird. Thank you, Jay. <sighs> Hey, bird. Oh, this looks, really this, yeah, looks really really bad. Bad. this looks really bad. Yeah, it's really bad. We gotta run. Chip, do you have a plan? <laughs> Every single person looks at Chip. The Kinku begins to rush past Chip, actually, and starts heading deeper into the forest, trying to run away. Holy shit, the Kinku has a plan. Follow Bird Bird! Do you have a plan? Oh, okay. We go with the bird. My, my plan. Follow the bird! And follow the fucking bird. <laughs> Good plan, Chip. Do you guys want to outrun or try and hide from the horde? Outrun? You know, I feel like outrun uh, for once in our lives. Yeah, do they seem fast? The ones that you've seen so far? No. But let's go ahead and roll athletics, everyone. 
I rolled a five. I got an 18, <laughs> but I'm staying with Gillian. Uh, I got a 15. Lucky for you, Jay, the horde. Rolled a three. Oh, oh okay. I mean, I could have just flown away, I guess, but... <laughs> <laughs> you know, hindsight's twenty twenty. It worked out. We're going to do two more of these checks. You guys stay, and you have a good head start okay. uh, of freedom away from these hordes. So do you want to do anything else on the second round? I say let's keep running. I've got a, I've got an idea. Um, I'm going to be really loud for a second, though. Do whatever you want. Yeah, go for it. Yeah. Man. So I'm going to use something I don't often get a chance to use. I'm going to use magical tinkering, uh, where I can imbue a tiny non-magical object with a magical property. Um, I can record up to six seconds of a recorded message and just kind of have it play on repeat. So I'm just going to say, hey, over here, over here, <laughs> hey, hey, <laughs> and then throw it off in the distance as far as I can. <laughs> okay. All right. You can just do that, right? There's no... Yeah, There's. it's just a thing I can do. So when you roll athletics this round, all of you will, uh, your score, Jay, will be how far you throw it away. Um, all right. Um, in that case, I'm going to guidance uh, Jay, and I'm going to uh, say, hey, it is your destiny to hold that shit. Um, I've never felt more like it was my purpose in life to throw a rock. It's your purpose to hurl that fucking yeah. rock, Jay. <laughs> throw it as it's far as a, I can. Oh, it's actually a really nice rock. Can you maybe use another one? Like, I, I, can I have yeah, sure. I have like this one. And then we don't have time for this. We don't have time for this. Okay, okay, okay. Um, all right. Athletics check. I got a uh, 25. Okay, I got a 16. Gonna add. That's a D8. Oops. Uh, gonna add that D4. Okay, I got a 19. Nice. All right, Shibo, what's that athletics? Uh, 22. I rolled a natural 20. Fucking fantastic. Because the natural 20, next round, Chef, you don't have to roll. You're going to keep up Ooh. for the rest of it. Jay, Gillian, fantastic rolls. You do this and you hurl that rock, screaming your voice into the distance. And as you hurl it, you look back and you notice that creature you just fought looks like there are these spindling black inky things that are reforming into its cavity where the, the laser beam cannon left and it looks like it's reforming itself oh I don't like that nothing's ever survived in fraud <laughs> it's not possible <laughs> oh god damn it that's not I good mean, yeah god, I yeah. mean fuck I mean like that's like I mean like you got a dub Griffin but like I'm it's it's evening out I right now not... <laughs> you need this Griffin look away look, look away. away this didn't happen <laughs> speaking of Griffin and Queen oh so fucking lucky dude are they okay Queen rolled like a three and the horde rolled a natural one oh. okay thank god the, the horde sucks apparently this last athletic checks you guys will get it with advantage as a lot of these uh, uh, creatures are starting to break off and follow the noise. Okay, here we go. I got a fucking three. <laughs> just, I rolled a two and a three. I got a natural 20. Good shit. What does the area smell like? This entire time, as you get deeper into the forest, it's been a sickening odor polluting this, uh, that, 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 that dry, cold air. And it just seems to get stronger the further you run. I'm going to throw a vial of perfume, and if maybe they smell something, sm like like they're tracking with scent, maybe they'll follow that. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's good. Same direction as Jay's or opposite? Same, same. What is that, spring breeze? Another natural 20, good lord. You up, up, did you already have the perfume within your, uh... Yeah, I got it. Yeah, you just whip it out, start spraying it a little bit, maybe put it on yourself. No, just kidding. And you throw it off <laughs> into the distance. I got to know what scent. I got to know what scent. Like vanilla grapefruit. I'm, I'm feeling like it would be lavender. Goodbye, you know? perfume vial. Um, vanilla grapefruit is definitely a possible one. A lot of the perfumes and the swirls. That's better than sawdust sweat. <laughs> yeah, it's like, it's like grass and like different nature-themed smells. The smell of a campfire in a muddy forest, like that kind of shit. <laughs> mud. Imagine mud. Oh my god. You get the scent of both like the, the wet Excellent. ground, the rain, and the fire. It smells nice around you for a second, but then as you keep running, you guys definitely lose the horde. And you find yourself coming to a clearing. A break in the in these trees and 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 the, and the dead ground. The um and what you see okay. is a small town of these egg-shaped buildings. And now that you've gotten further up north, 
you've had to run up some of these uh, uh, pathways that incline and lead further a uh, higher elevation. And you can see in the distance now, still past this town, the forest continues, though there are these black, thick cords of webbing uh, that connect to every single tree like like a spider's path of lasers. But they don't seem to be around in this town. And then past that, you now see what 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 once was a silhouette is a more clear view of this large central capital city and behind it a palace and then behind that the tree that almost cloaks the sky now that's the tree fucking love that shit um do you guys think uh Eggville is a good place to maybe take a little breather. Burp, 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 burp. You could cook an omelet with this freaking town. Is this like Bird Bird's town? I mean, maybe maybe it could be safe. Bird Bird, is this safe? Bird, yeah, yes, yeah. Bird Bird. Yeah, no. yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, all right. Now that works too. That's an affirmative. Is there an ad libbing rapper in this village or something? Or like... <laughs> <laughs> Bird Bird gestures over to a building, and as your eyes, like, they start to wander over it and use one of their wing to sort of gesture. As you follow them and you're like kind of noticing now what's on the ground, where this sulfuric, terrible stench has been emanating from, these piles of skeletons scattered throughout the town. And it's clear that some of them have raft uniforms. Why would they have left without all their bones? Weapons stick up and stick into the ground as well. Swords, guns. Because they didn't leave. There was a battle here. Probably. Maybe? I don't know. Maybe they just, like, melted. The Kenku just kind of rushes forward and steps on one of their rib cages. <laughs> oh, all seem right. To mine. Does it Does it seem like, can we tell, does this look recent or does this look like this happened fucking ten years ago when all the Black Sea shit went down? Those skeletons is probably pretty old. It happened long ago enough to where these bodies are fully decayed. Stepping around these bones... Yeah. If there's um, a good one, I'll keep it. I'll poke around in the bones. Oh, I also want to look around in the bones. <laughs> I, I, I don't. I don't actually. I Jay. Am I weird? We could, am use, I weird? we could use your eyes here, Jay. Come on over here. We're gonna look around in these bones. That's it's like mm -hmm. disrespectful to the Come dead. Come on, Jay. Throw us a bone. Okay. Well, for that one, I have. To. <laughs> okay. Here's what I'll say. The two of yeah. you can roll separate investigation, or one of you can roll with advantage. Chip. It is your destiny to find the funkiest femur of the bunch. And I'm going to hit him with guidance. You can roll with advantage in a d4. Though. That's a 25 in the bones. Yo! Has Birdbird, like, moved on ahead, by the way? Or uh, is Birdbird still with us? They've wandered into... Actually, they've disappeared. Oh, shit. Uh, do, do, we, do we know what Birdbird Bird is? Is Bird, Bird like a woman, a man? Somewhere in between? There's, there's a girl Bird Bird. I think it's okay. easy to tell. At this side, this scene. How does Jay feel about it? Um, about them slipping through dead people's bones. <laughs> Just what you see in general. What's going on in Jay's mind? Oh, about like the general scene. I, I think she'd want to kind of get a grasp on on what happened. Like, was it like a a battle, or is this just kind of like the natural decay from the Black Sea that fucked up these raft soldiers? Um, I think she feels a little sad about it though. I would say probably a little, little, you know, sad, but melancholic. It's just a battlefield. There's history here and they're poking around through it. Well, I want to, I also want to see like what the fuck happened here, but also yeah, like, like they elbow have deep, I'm like elbow deep in a rib, a rib cage and I see Jay's face. You okay, Jay? <laughs> <laughs> it just feels wrong. Like, you know, uh, like we're like grave robbing. Maybe there's something here that could help make sure we don't meet the same fate. It's like not even somebody we killed. Usually we we like kill somebody and then take their stuff. That's like okay, but we didn't have any have any hand in this, so it just feels a little weird and fucked up and like immoral. I mean, do what you will, okay? Don't let me stop you. All right, but like I'm gonna go find Bird well, Bird just, probably. You just kind of made it really weird, and I was just really curious about what's going on here. Now, now you're okay, making me feel but, like, like an it asshole. Like there's, there's weapons like planted into the ground. There's there's bones and skeletons. Is there like any other kind of like? Would I be able to recognize any other bones besides like the human humanoid or like like would it be Kenku bones? Was there a battle here of some sort? Maybe if there's a gun, I'd like to find a gun. You are able to find a very 
shabby, rusted. I'm going to say it's broken. It's a broken pistol. Dude, this is going to sound fucked up and hypocritical after everything I just said. I'm going to take the rusted pistol. <laughs> I was going to say, I'm going to I'm gonna toss the rusted pistol to Jay. Say, here, maybe you can fix it up. You find small bones underdeveloped next to one of the soldiers holding a rotted stuffed animal. And it's hard to tell if the soldiers were here on antagonistic or if they weren't. It was a decade ago or more, you might guess. If there were any clues on what happened here, they've long been blown away or rotted. Yeah. The Kinku did disappear. You kind of heard like a... Like she went somewhere and something. But you're looking at these buildings and all the... They're all like giant eggs. So it doesn't even look like there are doors or anything. Oh, God. I'll go up to one of the eggs and maybe put my ear to it. Does it sound like something's inside? You fall through a door. (laughs) (laughs) Hang on, guys. My ghouly sense is... Ah! (laughs) <laughs> just gone, just gone. Just fall flat on your face inside the egg. <sighs> Shuts behind and it's seamless. Doesn't look like there's a door to the egg at all. Did Gillian just get unbirthed? <laughs> <laughs> I'm back in, I'm finally back in! Jay, we gotta crack him out of there. Okay, ready on three. One. Two. Three! Three! <laughs> <laughs> Crash through the door. <laughs> The building has become brittle enough that without even a roll, you guys kind of break through it and you see like us, these these uh, pieces and fragments of this egg building kind of break in. Uh, the shell of it fall around Gillian, who's like picking himself up and you see, um, it's like, a, it's like a tent almost inside. And there's just one bed roll at the far end of this interior. You guys are the whites to my oak, my yoke, you know that? Thanks, man. I think. We are, we are white here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we're... <laughs> <laughs> I took my ADHD for the first <laughs> time today in like weeks. <laughs> so I'm on a different wavelength right now. All right, Whitey, let's get you to bed. <laughs> yeah, you think we can actually rest in here though? I mean, we did just break down like the wall. Yeah, Bird Bird said it was safe, right? Did Bird Bird say it was safe or did Bird Bird just run away? No, Bird Bird just said Bird Bird and then said, yeah, yeah. And yeah, then... exactly. <laughs> with uh, with your observation and passive perception, Jay, you notice that this bed wall, there's like an opening beneath it. And you can kind of feel the wind blow from that opening. Like a cellar kind of deal, like a hatch? You can find out, yeah. Yeah, you why pull not? Pull it it's just It's actually just a hole. In the egg, oh. there is a... A hatch. There's a hatch. <laughs> okay, this is it. Go fucking in it. <laughs> Go fucking in it. Straight up a hatch. <laughs> yes. It seems to be a burrow tunnel deep that leads underground. Chip, is this it? What? A hole in the sea. I look. I look over. <laughs> I look over at Gillian. I look at Jay. <laughs> yes. Okay. Let's do it. <laughs> this is really random small hole. <laughs> we go okay. down. Yeah, we go in. Yeah, we, we go, go the hole. Crawling down. Eventually, it actually gets steeper to where you start sliding. You <laughs> As you begin to slide down, the three of you, actually the five of you, because Queen and Griffin are tagging along, of course. They're, they're right behind you. I hope the boat's okay. <laughs> the crumbling of the rock beneath you as you slide reverberates throughout. And you actually drop out of it into an interior that is lit. You start to see the light peek through the tunnel as you're looking down as you're sliding until eventually it's an opening and you fall right through. And as you drop, you look around and you see this vast subterranean space. You can see that there are these roots that sort of peek through the walls and then crawl throughout it and then embed itself in almost like the roots are stitching throughout. There are these columns of rocks uh, that go vertical and horizontal like pathways above you, almost kind of like a network. And you hear reverberated footsteps. I didn't know you could go like under the ground. Gillian, you're from under, you're from the undersea. That's different. Yeah, I guess. And in front of you, you hear uh, echoed, as is your... Talking. 
bird, 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 bird. As they bird, look bird. excited to see you. Bird, bird. And bird, bird echoes throughout. Thank you, bird, bird, for showing us this place. We're forever in your bird death. You see that there are, along the walls, along this path, there seems to be these hollowed out uh, entryways into, into like different chambers, almost kind of like you're in some sort of, you know, mole uh, nest. Does it seem like it's like a small kind of base of operations under the town, or does it seem like it stretches out like underneath the island? This section seems like a small area with tunnels to the north, and from where you came, multiple tunnels in the ceiling. Looks like there might have been entrances in every egg building or, or so. But this is this area here, as much as it stretches down vertically and up vertically, it just seems to be a, a, a clearing, a living space for what you can tell now as you look past Bird Bird or the Kenku uh, are, are, is sort of a, a haven for a few straggling survivors. Okay, I was going to ask if there was like any ambient noise, like there are other people here or something, but yeah, if there are, then... Looking down, oh. you can hear some sort of like uh, cart... Like the wheels of a wooden cart being pulled by this oversized raccoon. Mm -hmm. That has been um, quite scarred and frayed, missing fur in places. And look past Kenku as they start to like, <gasps> you know, try and get you to follow again. Mm -hmm. What would you like to do? I'd follow. They've brought us to a safe haven. I'm in. Yeah. So we're just like cool with following th these guys, right? It's fucking, it's bird bird, man. What do you mean? Well, I, I don't know. We just, I feel like we have seen only things that are trying to kill us so far. I don't want to make assumptions about every living thing on this place, but yeah, so far it's been pretty bad. And you know, if, if maybe there's like a beacon of, of light in this, in this funny Kenku. What's this like dog with a cart going to do to you? you know? I don't know. The other guy was like a bug, right? It's just a bug, you know? There are a lot of animal like what, what would they it was just be a bug. called well, it, was, it wasn't even a bug it was a guy in a bug suit is that true so what if this is a guy in a dog suit oh yeah you're right it was a guy <laughs> in a bug. <laughs> we don't make judgments <laughs> it's pretty clear to me that this is um some kind of uh, resistance or, or people surviving down here I mean, I, like, I'll totally eat those words if that's a guy in a dog suit. Okay, okay. If it is a guy if in a dog a, suit. If, if, that's a, if that is a person, like a small <laughs> child in a bird suit that's just been tricking me and saying bird, bird, <laughs> ship, I'll eat my fucking words. Okay, okay. Uh, but until right. then, I think we should we should see what's up. I, you know, I trust you. It, 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 it's ridiculous to think that true, too. Like, I, I'm sorry. I, I'm just a little wound up. We really need to find a place to sleep. So, and if this can be that, then, um... I, I don't think we should spend more than one night because we still have people back in the boat that we need to worry about. Is there any way to let them know that we're like okay and not Can I dead? send a message that far? Is... All three of you have conch shells and no, you cannot oh, send right. a message. You are much, 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 much farther from the... 120 you feet. You are, yeah, you're right. <laughs> you're far inland now. Well, I guess we walk with Bird Bird. I will just give the boat a call. Um, hey, what's poppin'? Uh, it's your boy Gilly. Roll Arcana. No, minus one popping off. Let's go. Uh, 14. Okay. You notice that the connection of the conch shell is a lot weaker than normal. It stutters a bit, but you're able to uh, connect to... Bird, bird, is there a place in here I can get maybe more bars? Is it... I, I like, hold it up. To... <laughs> Her head tilts and confusion. Man, makes me miss the 5G undersea. Um, all right. <laughs> I, uh, yeah, I guess I just connect. I let them know uh, what's up. Tell them they can call. Um... Uh, Chip or, or Jay, if anything's up, and we'll be sleeping in a hole with a bird. Hey, take it easy. We found some place to hide the ship for now, but uh, things oh, go thank, south. Thank the gods. We'll send a flare or something. Sounds good. I'll I'll fly over as fast as possible if something goes south. Might not see it. We're underground with a bird and maybe a dog. <laughs> Keep us updated on the tree as well. So as you guys are passing by these little divots that act like rooms for people... Um, you notice the first few that you pass, who you see is, um, at first it's a, a, a four bulk who is a, um, a bit more heavy set, uh, auburn fur with white spots, this long and braided reddish orange mane. Keep going. A lot of the holes are empty. Uh, the next one you pass by, you actually hear, k -tink, k 
tink, and you see that there's this... Uh, that kind of fucking Dark Souls blacksmith of you. <laughs> <laughs> you see a woman, a bit shorter than average, but hella jacked and sturdy. She has half elven ears, light brown skin, and spiky pink hair. She's covered in grime, some burns, some tattoos and piercings, and she wears a long leather apron over a simple sleeveless top. It seems like the bulk of the survivors you've seen so far have been wearing the same thing for a very long time, given the wear on both their clothes and them physically. And as you keep going, um, you're just kind of being led by Bird Bird, who leads you up a path that sort of like curves upwards into another section of these uh, divots in the wall. And the next survivor you see is a Spring Eldrin, who is a bit taller, with a mid-sized curvier body type and light pink skin. Her clothes appear slightly more aristocratic, though still torn, patched, and dirtied. Her hair is long and seemingly made from these vines and flowers, more lush at the roots, yet wilting at the ends as a few petals fall around her. And she looks solemnly into a book. You pass a few more on your way up. I would love to interact with people here, but also I feel like my number one priority is getting some rest. Yeah, if we're getting led anywhere that we can just sleep, I'm trying to go do that. I could hog some shoes for sure. Just in case something goes really Ari, you know? Just, yeah. Terrible. Ari? You mean Ari? Ar oh. <laughs> shit. <laughs> this is some, this is some infrared shit, this is <laughs> that. Yeah, well, I mean, like, okay... <laughs> It's, it's, a corrupt, it's the corruption. It's the corruption. <laughs> so glad it didn't. It didn't only happen to me. Hey, it happens to me sometimes too, man. You um find yourself in front of this larger divot that has fabric thrown over like a uh, a covering, and um first bird bird just kind of goes inside, and then after a few moments come back out. You hear some murmuring behind it. And they come back out, and then they gesture for you to come inside. Oh, it, we do it. Let's see what Bird Bird's got for us. You walk into what looks to be a um, room of more importance. There are these rocks carved into tables and chairs, uh, and two figures that are sitting, eyeing your arrival. One of them stands up, and she is giant, 7'2". She seems to be half elf and half goliath with black skin that has slightly bluish undertones and tightly braided hair that bundles in the back but is shaved on the sides, exposing the slightly pointed ears. She's wearing a dark steeled, rusted armored breastplate that has a cloak attached to the shoulders and carvings of spider lilies. You also notice that one of her hands is prosthetic as she grips an oversized hammer to help her stand up making it clear just how imposing she is. The warm light from the torches bolstered into the cavern walls reflects in her dark-colored eyes as she studies each of you. Next to her, sitting down, still eyeing you, is a... You can tell he's quite tall, but not as tall as this woman that's standing. He's an Earth Genasi, with quite the muscular frame. The stone that makes up his skin resembles black opal, which is a black stone that has these beautiful specks of orange, green, and blue under the surface. His hair spikes outwards in all directions, and his expression is much softer and laid back. He's wearing shoulder armor that wraps diagonally over his bare chest, exposing some of the cracks and scratches, and is layered with a few necklaces. His trousers are simple, with a sash and belt around the waist and abdomen, completed with boots padded with guards, similar to the bracers on his forearms. He also is wielding an oversized weapon, a great sword that looks to be carved roughly out of a bright colored stone. Yeah, I guess we start off strong. Um, what's the deal, Leo, see Leo? <laughs> Why do we like Gillian speak? <laughs> He's just got away with words, man. You are awesome, man. Because there was a thick tension in the air as soon as you stepped in and then they look at you. You can tell these people both seem to be in some sort of uh, leadership position, which is why King, the okay. bird bird took you here. Yeah. Um, And they look tired, beaten, and hopeless. And as soon as you say that... Make this, it, do I make it worse or...? <laughs> like with scissors, shit just gets cut in half and the tension sort of eases a little bit. And <laughs> the woman who was going to be stern relaxes a little bit in their stance. She says, So who do we have here? I'm Chip. This is Jay, Gillian. We are the Riptide Pirates. 
You look the part. Yeah. Kind of a thing. And you don't look like you've been here long. Definitely new here. We, uh, found... If you have ulterior motives, let's just get the fight over with. Well, we actually found, um... Bird Bird. The... Her name's not Bird Bird, right? I've totally just been calling her Bird Bird. Calling her Bird Bird, yeah. There at the Genasi on the side. You mean Nock? Yes. We found Nock in a net being dragged by, by a man in some kind of bug armor somewhere. And Gillian had this cool idea to like shift them, like shift the rock in place. And it was like like shifting the weight so that he wouldn't notice. In my head. Perfect Oh, it was plan. a good idea. It was a great idea. Perfect And plan. then, and then like the rock got up. Wasn't a rock. Was, was a turtle. It was a turtle. Whole big thing. Yeah, but I mean, everybody got out okay. Um, so there's that, right? I mean, like, we're here, you know, Nax here. We're here, Bird Bird's okay. Um, Knock. Anyway, we're here to help. <laughs> Chip, go ahead and roll uh, Persuasion. And also with the uh, What's the Deal, Yo, Celia, you should just get it back. <laughs> um, so I rolled below a 10 on both. That just defaults to a 10. Um, so that makes it a 25. She said that makes it a 25. My rolls don't count, so it's just a 25. I pulled the card <laughs> that made my persuasion plus 15. That's, yeah, I mean. Like, like, that's like yeah. magical means. It's it's helpful in this scenario because you can tell that even though the tension was cut, you know, what you were saying determines hostility. <sighs> she lets out a sigh. I only wanted to haste through any deceptions, but it is clear you have no affiliations with the other pirates in the capital. There are other there are other pirates here? No, we just got here. Um and we're kind of searching for our own thing. And like maybe a place to sleep if that's like on the table, because I'm not sure Gillian's gonna make it. Yeah, I guess I could sleep on the table. <laughs> if you've just arrived, you must come from outside the Eastern Sea. And now you look for a place to rest. Well, I've been here before, just didn't look like this. Hmm. Tell me about it. Well, I am Zamia. Zamia Aramoira. And this is Igneous. And to thank you for saving Nock. You're welcome to stay. Oh, thank God. We were totally going to die out there. I'm not going to lie. It was it was not looking good. Um, We appreciate it a lot, yeah. We will try not to be in your guys' hair for longer than we need to be. Just to make sure, are you guys cool with the tree? He's got a whole thing with the tree. Do you know about the tree? Probably know about the tree. You sure? Surely you know about the tree. We're just, we're trying to help the tree. What's the deal with the tree? Looking out for numero, numero uno. And numero uno is the freaking arbol, which means tree among us. Among other things. Yes, the There's tree like a few as other well. Things, yeah. We're friends of the tree. So if you're friends of the tree, you're friends with me. She looks off to the side, mentioning the tree. And comes back and looks, meets all your gazes. I mean, the great tree. It is a great tree. It's, um, the island's way of life. It runs through each and every inch. You see some of its roots here in this cavern. As it dies, the island does too. And eventually, so will all of us. Oh, wow. So the tree is like an actual important thing, Gillian. I really thought you just wanted to see a tree. I, yeah, I honestly wasn't like... Oh, you guys are just realizing how important the tree is? That it, rules, it goes through every single inch? Connects us all? Huh? I guess my thought was like, we're in a, a, the the Black Sea. Everything's kind of dead. I say, what is saving the tree going to do if everything else is dead? But like... If what does sea rhyme with? B. Oh, yeah? What do bees pollinate? Flowers. You see Igneous is sort of looking at the ground, like shaking his head and, and, and chuckling out of this. What's a bigger flower? Sunflower. What does the sun give life to? Plants. What do plants do? Photosynthesize. <laughs> Fist bump shit. <laughs> <laughs> you dead ass here, Igneous say, you lot are crazy, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's just been a long day. Well, I guess we are heading towards the tree. Um, 
if there's anything you could tell us about it. Like how to save it. Or like, you know, what's going on over there. We're anything like, notable. We're like the weird kind of pirates who like throw all our money off our ship and like save things. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even begin to rationalize why you would want to head into such dangers. In order to get to the tree, you'll have to go through the pallets. You'll have to face this crew of pirates that's been stealing our lives. A pirate crew? Like another pirate crew? Like that? Like the one you talked about? Yeah? Aye. Did they show up from another place as well, or have they always been here? A few years ago is when they came. They took over the palace. They killed the Emperor. Our Emperor, Zetesis. And then they... Well, once they had control over the entire capital, they started rounding up survivors. The people down here are all that's left. What do they do with the survivors? I think we heard they turned them into vessels? Some kind of vessel, yeah. It's kind of vague, ominous, and scary. It does sound scary. And it almost happened to me. I thought I could, I thought I could like vortex warp myself out of the net, but it, it, I can't do it on myself. It turns out. Rule number one: you can't vortex warp yourself. <laughs> Nog mimics the um, beetle, the massive mass, and says, um, <laughs> mass, "Massive, you will be mass. strong, massive." And um, oh, Zamia looks okay. at her, at Nog, a little sternly but softly, kneels down and says. You can't go out there alone again. I know you were trying to help. But we are no match. You got lucky this time. Do you understand? Burp, 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 burp. I appreciate the uh, concern and everything, but we're pretty strong pirates. I mean, I've got a flame sword. Oh, no, they were talking to they were talking to Bird Bird. Oh. <laughs> Do you think this woman just went over here telling you off? Don't ever go out shine again, young man. Chip is motherless, bro. There's a lot to unpack there, Chip. Oh my bad. <laughs> yeah. No. Wow. I'm I'm uncomfortable. Yeah. No. Of course you were talking to to, to knock to the, to the yeah. No, I get that. Um. Yeah. 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 No, you should not go out there. It's dangerous for you. Is there a place I can lie down? Why why did Nock go out alone? I mean Igneous stands this... up. He's about six one. Because she unlike anyone else wants to get us out of this rut. Fight the powers that be. And if that's where you're already headed. Strangers or not, I wanna come with you. Zami says, you can't. If you die, who will be here for the people that are left? These people are barely people. No, he says. He starts to get a little heated. Nox sort of cowers behind Gillian again. Word, 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 word. Okay, bird, bird. We're not heroes, she says. Nobody is. Not in this world. Yeah, can we have a group huddle quickly? Yeah, yeah. Let's yeah, sorry. We, up. We, do, we do this sometimes. Hang on. What are you guys thinking? Um, Hopeless group of survivors. Want to give them hope, things like that. You hear kind of muffled behind the fabric. Hey, hey, come here, hey. Oh, oh get, get in, get in, oh, Griffin, get in, Griffin, 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 get in the middle. That in, that in fraud shit was sick, man. You can lead the conversation if you want. Queen, you too, get in here. Queen, hop in. Griffin and Queen come in. You see, uh, Samia's eyes widen at Griffin. Oh, cause he's from he's he's from around here, I think. Bird, bird, you want to hop in on this shit? No, I think bird, bird should stay out for now. Do you want should Zombie and Igneous should they be in this? Well, no, because then we're just no, talking no, to no, the no, whole no. world. Just, this is just us. This is the rooftop <laughs> hard thing. We could maybe just have Igneous because he seems to be kind of in. Get it together here. I just want to talk about like the general kind of state. Yeah, we, we we sort of we like we like wheel out of the room. We're like all still huddled up, shuffle out of the room. Okay, outside huddle. Yes. I want to I want to talk about mostly how we're gonna approach things on the Black Sea. Because I'm gonna be honest, we're gonna find a lot of people with a lot of problems here, and I don't think okay. we can help everybody. Because this place kind of makes me feel. Like like something is eating my brain. Um, yeah, I'm kind of feeling that like that like nauseous, gross feeling. Like I'm like I'm gonna die, and I also want power. Beans do that to me. Didn't eat any beans. 
Well, the good news is the the tree is apparently on the way or it's through the palace. It, it seems like if there's, <laughs> in this case, we'll probably end up accidentally killing them all anyway, right? Yeah, I just... <laughs> listen, I... I fuck, I'm so soft. Um, <laughs> I want to help these people. Okay, I want to help the tree. Well, great. Then I think we're all on the same page. But, but... Wait, look an oath to help people in need. That's true. And to fuck shit up, which, by the way, there is shit here that needs to be fucked up. Jay's making a good point. Guys, we're not equipped for this entirely. We're not really equipped for this, you know? We fought one guy, and he almost killed you, Gillian. We do well, have to stay we focused. That's because we were trying to save save Bird Bird and Turtis. And now we're trying to save a whole town. And we didn't even kill him. Because he put himself back together. Yeah, that's yeah. No, Griffin's actually got a really good point. He did put himself back together. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. He stepped on your dub, man. We're gonna get ourselves killed, and forget what we came here for. But also, we need some help to navigate this place. And these survivors might be the best ones to do that to help us. Can I deposit a little gilly nugget? Give me your nuggets. Give me your nugget. Yummy, la 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 la. Yeah, he gives you something weird. Um, I oh, drop it. <laughs> I don't. That was my gimmick. Yeah. Um, this place feeds on desire, all of ours, and lest it overcome us entirely, I think we should remember what we're really here for. Sure is to get to this place, yes, but what are we here for as pirates, as people, you know? Can we really, I think if we were to ignore this and keep pushing forward, well, the Black Sea wins. Gillian, it's, I... Don't get me wrong. I'm I'm on board with helping these people right now. I just don't think we're going to be able to help everybody we come across, okay? We do at some point need to look at Arlen, the reason we came here, the map, everything, and get out of here eventually. Because, I'll be real, we don't even have a way out of the Black Sea. We don't know how we're going to get out of here. We could all just one by one use the teleporter. That'll take... 10 days. Oh, shit. Yeah. Yeah. What if I put you in the mirror and I hold you in the mirror and then I go through the teleporter? I guess you could, like, maybe... Well, I mean, it would take... Yeah, it would cheese a little... They cut the time a little bit in half. Shut everyone in the briefcase. Hop in. That suffocates people. That suffocates people. Really bad. Just hold your breath. And still be abandoning Alphonse. And the ship. That's true. Yeah, we can't yeah. leave Alphonse to the ship. We could just pull his chip out and, like, go find a new ship. But that's... Not easy. You're right, Jay. We 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 don't know how we're getting out of here, but neither do these people. I think it's important that if we if we want to hold on to our hope, we should spread it too. And I agree. Plus, it's on the way. I think we're on the same page. We're just trying to make the point in different ways. Because like I was getting there, I was totally getting there, and I was saying like we should help these people, and they'll help us. And then it'll be like one big, like if we give them hope, they'll give other people hope and it'll spread like a, like a wildfire, but like a, in a positive way, not in like a negative way, like a wildfire. It'll be bad. Yeah. And I mean, at, at, at the end of the day, maybe if we find our way out, we could come back here and, and get these people out, which we wouldn't be able to do, you know, if they were all dead. So. All right. Here's my thought. Okay. Save the tree and all, all the folks kill those yes. other pirates. And then we go find <laughs> the thing <laughs> on the other like side <laughs> of the island. The thing from the bottle, the little thing, Black Rose yeah. Pirates. Okay. Then Arlen stuff. How are we feeling? That sounds pretty good. I just will. I will say if we're sailing and more freaking goopers and gunkers ride over the edges of our ship and fuck us up, I wouldn't mind probably taking a little pit stop so we don't die. Yeah, that, that's and, cool. and, you know, that's cool. and when we do that, we may run into some folks that need helping, well, and then we deal with that, and then we, no, you know, well, we well, 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 this is what I'm talking about. what I'm talking about. But if we go save Arlen and do all that stuff, maybe we can save the entire sea. If we it see, seems like we're all on the same page, roughly. If we figure out what happened in that hole, maybe we could take the corruption out entirely. 
save everybody on a, on a larger scale. That sounds wonderful, Chip. La, 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 la. Yeah, it's it's really great, but it's it's just high expectations, and we don't know what we're gonna find in there. That's based, Chip. Here's what oh my I God. think. Okay. Here's what I think. Why don't we just set everyone, whoever we meet, we set them up so that when we kill it all at the source and turn the sea the regular normal water color again, everyone will be okay, right? Because if we did that now, these people would still have big pirate overlords. That's the whole thing. Well, that's the thing is it'll be a lot easier to get around when there's no corruption. Yeah, that's true. But what I'm getting at here is everybody in the sea is going to have problems and we cannot solve everybody's problems. We have to make a choice because we will just lose ourselves eventually. That's what I'm saying. We save these people. (laughs) These people can probably help help us us, navigate around. And then if we save the sea, some other people can come in and and fix the problems or they can fix them themselves or like the corruption we got. I don't know. No, 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 that's no, no, I'm sorry. That's so that's it. That's ripped. That's no, that's that's heresy. You can't say that as a riptide pirate. Someone else will come in and fix it. That's crazy. Okay. How about this? How about this? We deal with this one. (laughs) Yes. Listen. Yes. Yes. Okay. Being here. Yeah. Is a risk and a liability, and it's terrifying. Everything I've heard about the sea is awful and just terrible. I okay? know, and, and people are gonna... in it every day. Yes, they have to deal with that every day, and that sucks, right? But we've got to look out for ourselves yeah. and our crew. And there are a lot of people who are depending on us, and we can't die here. <laughs> okay. Jane, we're built different. Griffin, what the fuck? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, like, if that one creature monster was just the one out of an entire crew. I'm kind of psyched to take them. I'm kind of psyched to take them down, you know? I, I know, I- Do you remember how that went? That was really bad. It's, it's gonna be sick. It's gonna be sick. I took him out. I remember I hit him so hard I blacked out and woke up. You, du- you, you, <laughs> you, he kicked the shit out of you I multiple times. And Queen kept reviving you and you kept dying, man. Here's the plan, okay? We're gonna we're gonna help these people. We're gonna go to the palace. We're gonna save the tree. And then any other problems that come up from here, we are gonna regroup in this small little circle and talk about it. And the answer might not always be yes, okay? But that's okay. just the way it's gonna be. And I, totally I think fair. we've gotta do some risk assessment and management here because this place really fucks with me. <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> okay. You know, I, I completely hear you and I, I, I understand you guys. Um, so let's just take it case by case. Um, and I think... <laughs> Why did you smile like that? <laughs> well, just because I know that every case I'm going to want to help you. Um, <laughs> let's take it case by case. I think we all agree that in this particular case, not setting a precedent, just saying that in this particular case, it seems like we all want to help in sort of yes. whatever way we can. These are the first people we've seen who seem helpful and, and will talk to us. Right. And we know nothing about this place. They've also avoided the corruption somehow. At least they don't seem very corrupted to me. One second, hold that thought. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm going to pop out. Pop out of the circle uh, and just take a whiff of the air. Give it the old uh, um, fucking um, divine sniffer. Do I sense that they are sort of there's any evil here or w- what the deal is? I mean, I know that the whole Black Sea is obviously very, very evil and, and that. But do I get that sort of nugget? nugget of evil in the people yeah i'll give you what your divine sniff gives you automatically but i'd like you to roll arcana as well could i use religion since my stuff is very you can use religion, in yes. nature thank you uh 15 even though nobody is a fiend an undead or whatever you can still kind of sniff the seedling of a fiendish uh entity a force inside chip and jay um do bird bird got it Birdburn has the seedling. Oh, Birdburn's got the fucking seed. You can visually see it. They are missing the wing and they have some corruption. Oh, right. Around I forgot them. about that. Yeah, the mutations. Yeah. Um, and, and, and the people you walked past, there weren't many signs of physical mutations, but you can right. definitely smell some of the scent in here. Though it's weak. It's weaker than it was outside on the surface, for sure. Because Nock is inside that chamber as well, I'll say that you just get the slight sniff of it, the whiff of it, but you're not sure who who all has it in there. But you know from vis- like visual that knock definitely does. So everyone's a bit um yeah. Everyone's got a little bit of that knock dog. With your religion here. check, okay. you can tell that this haven has the remnants of the hollow spell 
Um, oh. Or at least you know that someone with similar divine connections as you had been protecting this place, though it is no longer protected today or when you're here. When I, when I first uh, met Desire Daddy, um, you said there were traces of a hollow spell as well. Does it seem very similar to that? Does it seem like my like Nikki boy had had perhaps a hand in this in any sort of way? Combined with divine sense, it doesn't feel the same. Okay, yeah. So everyone is yeah. It's kind of fucking with everyone, not just you guys. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um. Okay. I I I agree with everyone. I think I think case by case, I think there's totally there's totally gonna be a big goo dragon that we kill, and then the sea is fine. Don't read me like that, man. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm with I'm with Chip. Like that sounds pretty cool. So I'm gonna choose. I'm gonna manifest that. <laughs> I'm also gonna manifest that. Let's manifest that group manifestation. Yeah. Group manifestation. Let's manifest that. Because you know, and there's then, a there's a plan for everything, guys, and he's always listening. You, that's right. <laughs> Wait, let, us, let, let us bow our heads. <laughs> to, to, hang on. To who, Chip? To who? I silently pray for a moment. Is this the corruption? Three, two, one, break! Okay. Uh, okay. Seems yeah. like we've all we've all come to the understanding, right? We all know exactly what's happening? Yeah. Um, Perfect. We'll play it by ear and just... All right. I just want to make sure we're looking out for our crew first. You know, there's going to be a lot of people who need our help. But for now, let's go back in there and see what Freaking we can find wing out. It. And... Yeah. Then sleep. Most of the crew's here. Uh, yeah, but like, we left all our weak and vulnerable ones on the ship. <laughs> all right, I walk in, we're in. As you're walking in, you walk up, you overhear a conversation they were having while you are having yours coming to an end. Muffled at first, then clear as you walk in, and you see Igneous has his hand on uh, Zamia's shoulder. Look, all I'm saying is this lot encountered the collector and survived. And they brought Nock back. I feel like we've heard the name before. It's like a boss name. <laughs> We're not surviving in a week without her. This is an opportunity to save her and whoever else is there. Sorry to interrupt, but was somebody you guys knew taken by this collector? Zami looks back at Ignis. Let me talk to them, right? We'll continue this tomorrow. You just let people know we have guests. And then um, clear a space out for these pirates. Ignis goes, all right. They give like a family, short family hug. Uh, and Ignis says, all right, uh, begins to walk out. All right, find me when you're ready for the tour. Sort of chuckles, leaves. Uh, and then you're left in there with Zamia. <sighs> she takes a seat, rests her giant hammer on the wall. I'm gonna take a seat, cross-legged. I lie down. I think I'll stand. I'll just stay standing, and I, and I like, I like lean against the wall in an uncomfortable way. From what we've been able to gather, seems like each of this, uh, each member of this crew has their own role. And uh, that thing collects and has been collecting survivors that it finds for the last few years. Do you know what he does with them when he takes them? The whole vessel thing? We've never made it that far in. And mm. we stopped trying. What about the other roles? There's a collector. What else is there? A few of them parole and, and keep their tyranny over the, uh, or keep their control over the, the spider lily capital is what it was called. Mm. I know you're not from around here, so. They are held up, they are held up in Daphne Palace, which is at the back side of the spider lily capital. I used to be a paladin knight for the emperor, and my partner was a, um, a cleric that served the Emperor as well. She kept this... She kept who you see here alive. Um, she's like a little choking up little... 
And recently she, um... She disappeared. I'm sorry. I know how hard that can be. If she's in there, we'll bring her back. Zamia, we're gonna try to help however we can. Um, and if we can take care of this, this pirate crew that's taken over the palace. Um, and even save your partner. Then we absolutely will. But, um, we're in unfamiliar lands right now. And I know we're strangers and I don't want to ask a lot of you. But if you could just consider what Igneous said about coming with us. I think it would improve our odds so, so much. We'll do our best to make sure he comes back safe. I don't know how far my word goes as a stranger, as a pirate, but... We'll do our best. She holds her hand up in front of her after you're done saying that. And it looks like she tries to focus and this little tiny ball of daylight flickers within it. And she like squeezes. I mean, you can tell that her, you know, muscles are are, are tightened so hard uh, as they, they are just bulging out. She's just, the veins are like coming to the surface as she's trying to conjure this up. It flickers out. I want to, I want to help so bad. But in this last decade, my hope has dwindled further than I thought. It's harder to cover it up. And the faith I had in my oath to the Emperor seems to have dwindled enough as well. I want to go, but I might just slow you down. So, I'm going to take the night to think. There's a lot of people here that seem like they're really, really counting on you. Maybe it's time you take a new one. You guys head out, and uh, Igneous is just sort of leaning up against the wall, waiting for you, and you follow him, start to head back down these paths that are just kind of connected um, from wall to wall. And this one spirals down further than where you started. And on the way, you pass by who he refers to as um, Alice Chrisley, uh, the craftswoman, uh, you know, Jack Blacksmith. Leads you further down, and on the way, you pass by what looks to be a, um, a rabbit person, uh, white fur, very dirty. Uh, they have, like, bits and baubles and different trinkets and stuff sort of laid out on this piece of cloth. Uh, a Harangan, I think it's how they pronounce the race. You also, um, in the same chamber as, um, this Harangan is a, another Kitsune you've met one a long time ago in Laughing Lot. They have, uh, black and orange gold cross styled fur, which is where, like, most of it is black fur, but there's, like, these orange patterns on the face and the body. Um, both of them are, of course, like everyone that you've seen so far wearing, you know, ragged clothes and, um, it looks like the Kitsune has uh, a, a missing eye that has been filled with like a sort of black ink that they're sort of dealing with. Um, and then a few uh, steps down, continuing, you get to these empty divots where you and your crew can sort of rest up. First question, which is the dumbest one, I'm going to get it out of the way. Uh, do we still have the pants? <laughs> <laughs> Time. Yeah, I'd say, I'd say you didn't lose them or anything. Okay. You still have your, your well, merchandise. Well, in that case, hey... Um, Chip J, it seems like these people could really go for some new clothes. I know we only have pants, but... <laughs> you want to give away our pants? I want to repurpose our... I mean, well, we're just... They're just collecting moths in there. Wait, perhaps... Perhaps... La, 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 la. Do yes. you have a needle and thread? I could fashion these into uh, more... Uh, presentable clothing. Holy from pants shit. to riches. <laughs> from rags to riches. And the amount of people here, the, the amount of pants simply wouldn't work. If only they were made to make all of them shorter. 
<laughs> Shut up. Oh, I feel a storm brewing. I, I think we can make some, some shorter pants, but I also think we can maybe make some some jackets and such too, you know? Besides pants? Yeah, I mean, like, they need clothes oh, yeah, I didn't even for their think entire of it like body. That. Yeah. yeah, okay. Um. Well, I can, I'm sure we can find something. I'll, I'll give Why uh, don't I go around and ask people, la la la, what they would prefer to wear? That sounds like a great idea. I'm gonna if give If they don't him... have a preference, just say jorts. That's like the default. Default <laughs> can be jorts. Give him a box to tick. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna yeah. give him all of our uh, our pants. Uh, just a big yeah. fucking laundry basket full of them. Um, yeah, I guess I give this little bobble, um, bobble rabbit a, a, a peek. What sort of bobbles are they? So Gillian, uh, unless you guys are going with him, it's just Gillian for the rabbit. The uh, one with bits and bobbles, the yeah. handgun. Bobble, uh, bobble bunny. Bobble their bunny. name is I actually did write their name. Their name is Petlin. Petlin. And um, they go or he goes. Oh, uh, <coughs> nice to meet you. I'd love to investigate your wares. <laughs> <laughs> Here's what I got. <laughs> you always got us covered, Petlin. You see a lot of it is just um, yeah. simple things like pebbles and, and uh, trinkets, but things that look interesting to you are, um, uh, there's only like a few things that have enchantments. Mm -hmm. uh, one of them is a, a rock. Love rocks. <laughs> Do I know? Do I know? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Is, fucking, how much for the rock? I don't even have money. <laughs> oh, you're right. I don't. I just looked over and saw a fat zero. You can trade food if you have a ration. Yeah, I do. You know what? Um, I've got bar skin jerky, great grapes, peanut butter, cinnamon rolls, buffalo chicken rollers, and draconic donuts. You got buffalo chicken rollers? Jesus Christ, dude. Dude, do, do you remember that chicken? fucking, you know, that, that shopping yeah, the, we the, did? We yeah, picked up all those groceries. The, 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 that Navy person And there, I wrote and down, you were okay, the rock. I, you're effectively a millionaire in this place. <laughs> I would love to give this guy, um, I guess I just show him this and then, uh, take, take your pick. Uh, uh, wow, uh, thank the gods. Are you an angel sent from above? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, what you see is, uh, and you can get them, both of them, there's this stone mm. that is unbreakable. Yeah. And I want one of the regular rocks too. I just, I, whatever, whatever makes him, like, whatever he's excited about trading, you know what I mean? Um, mm -hmm. Okay, right. so an, un, un, un unbreakable rock. You get basically an unbreakable rock. It's actually is 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 quite hefty. It fits in your hand, um, and then you get a a magical. It looks like he's handing you a butter knife at first, but then when he switches some sort of dial on it, it switches to like shears, scissors, a razor, and other bladed objects that are super small. Oh, that's so cool! It's just like a Swiss Army knife that's magic. It's a literal um, switchblade! <laughs> 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 yeah, it's a switchblade. That's what it is. Um, and the rest of it is, is that's what he gives you that he's excited about. Cool. Oh, take, um, it. take it! Uh, are, are you sure? I mean, okay, you gotta, you gotta have the donuts then if I take this. You gotta take the donuts. The sweet smell reminds me of home. It's good to meet you, um, peddling. You do be. <laughs> you do be peddling. <laughs> um, all right. Cool. I do be uh, peddling. You do be peddling. Take it easy. Have a good night. Okay. You go and, uh, you go and meet Alice, eh? And she looks metal as shit. She goes, sup? God, she's too cool. One of you guys has to take the lead on this. Queen actually gets here at the same time. What would you like to wear? She looks confused. <laughs> what <do you> <laughs> <laughs> okay. La, la, la. Um, God, you know what? This is so weird because we've we've never we've never just like walked up to like a regular D and D merchant and like asked for goods. Yeah, I don't even know what we really want here. Like, do you have like a a needle? Do you have a needle? What do you what do you sell here? Um, <laughs> have, there's no there's no. Do you have a menu? Um, like a QR code? We can scan. Or, um, I saw you saw you smithing from across the room. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty cool. You can see behind her, there's like different uh, metal work going on, some weapons, some swords and stuff, but it looks like she's mostly doing this to keep uh, sharp on her craft and that not really anyone wields weapons. But um, it looks like if you're going to, because you guys already have banger weapons, the most you can get out of this J is help repairing the gun. And then with Chip and Gillian, if you want to, you know, ask for upgrades and stuff, depends on what you have to trade. I'd love to upgrade my armor. Oh my God. Chip finally gets studded yeah. leather. The, the I'd episode. like to get studded leather. We need studs for this stud. Chip, 
You're a fucking stud. You need some studs. And also, like, could I get your commission your help to repair this gun or make it usable again? Yeah. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> and also, do you have a needle? We're going around, like, making clothing for everybody here. Yeah. <laughs> She's fucking awesome. I love this energy. She is too fucking cool. Guys, I can't be here anymore. It's, like, too hot in the kitchen. I gotta get out. <laughs> <laughs> I still have the, the, the shield um, that Gillian's had for... Um, Pretty much the whole campaign, that, like, shell shield situation. Um, and I think it, it's gotten, like, pretty beat up and probably cracked um, and has definitely seen better days at this point. Um, you know, it's been months of this thing just taking a beating that was not meant to. Um, and I I think I... Gillian gives it to her and says, um, I was entrusted with this a long time ago to keep people safe, but, um, I don't know how many more saves it's got in it. I think, um, I, I'd hate to trade it out, so I don't know. Do you think you could do anything with it? Or is it... <sighs> Takes a look. Um... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why I expected... Um, alright. Thank you. Thank you sure for everything. Shit. She's a master of her craft. I gotta go. <laughs> she's got like she's got a kind of wide wide grin. She's happy to have something to do. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> for a peace sign. Jay, I've never felt so out cooled. It's it's rough, right? I'd love to have like a cool little like slight update to chip design, so he got like a little bit of armor and like obviously the coat would have been like ripped up as fuck, and so like there maybe maybe Queen could like sew some like stuff into it to make it like to back together. Queen seems quite um, awestruck by by Alice, and uh, they began working on Alice's outfit on the side. Seem to have been you can kind of tell that they're stitching something unique into it. What do, what, what does that cost? The studded leather and br I can do both studded leather and don't even worry about it. If you bring them any unique ores or types of metal back, uh, she'll appreciate it. But. Just having something to do is enough for her right now. Oh, okay. You all drop this off. Are you heading yeah. to your divot? Your I think we, I think we go to we dive into the divot, right, boys? Divot up, divot time. Well, I'd like to stay up with Queen a little bit and help with like making stuff. But once I'm like tired, tired, yeah, I'll shoot. Then you know, she's not a huge talker, but she does love doing this. Um, a lot of people. Uh, you learned from her for the time that you're kind of helping with a gun. A lot of people have just kind of lost their sense of life, reasons why they continue, and working on hammering away at metal and stuff is what keeps her from slipping, as others have. And this project to help you guys out doesn't even need to know you, doesn't care. She just goes for it. Um, and she enjoys your knowledge on intricacies of building machines like pistols and stuff. And then uh, you head back. Cool. She'll take care oh, of the sure. rest. Um, I'm going to spend a little bit of time before sleepy time actually uh, infusing one of my items. I think you can only do one per long rest. So You guys begin to sleep. Griffin and Queen Queen comes back a little later. Griffin is already in there, huddled up, hibernating. Queen has successfully given people new clothes. Um, Thread it up, bread it up. Let's hit it. Freaking dripping dog. And then you guys begin to rest. And um, Jay, before you fall asleep. Okay. You're sort of. Um, a little scared. You're sort of thinking back on everything you guys were talking about. About uh, navigating, beelining into Arlen. And you go to feel for the map. And it's gone. What? Son of a bitch. Quay? Quay? No. Did the fucking collector somehow get it? Did you fucking collect it? Oh, what the fuck is it? Did we fucking drop it? <laughs> Where'd it go? I went into a mirror. Is it in the mirror? <laughs> shit. Is it in the mirror? Like, I, I just fucking searched my whole body. I mean, everywhere. Like, oh, shit. Oh, fuck. We, we need that. <laughs> we really need that. We still kind of have it on our bodies, though. You you have a part of it. Trey has a part of yeah. it. And then Finn yeah. has a part of it. I thought it I thought it all magically went onto the paper. To, but I, I'm I pretty, think now I remember yeah, you pretty fucking sure we just scribbling on it. Drew it. Still not good. Still not a good situation. This 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 just means that we don't have to worry about finding it. We just have to worry about other people 
going there. Before you. I mean, that might be all right. So let them go scope out the place and go kill the fucking things. And then we show up and- They're gonna freaking kill saying, your papa, saying, dude. They're we can, gonna we can third party. We can third party. It'll be chill. I, we don't even know what the fuck is there, bro. Look, I'm just trying to see the bright side of things, man. It could be all of the riches in the world and a fucking teleporter. Two map holders are also far away right now. There's no bright side to this. There's no bright side to this. Well, I'm going to sleep it off. I'm, I'll bring it up in the morning. They don't need to worry about <laughs> just it. Just a good note. Yeah. yeah. Just, just letting you know. You guys get to long rest. <laughs> Yo! But, 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 but. Everybody has to roll upon waking up. Roll a wisdom saving throw. Oh, shit. Yeah, I got a 14. 25. I rolled a nine. Okay, you get a point of corruption. Chip, you're all good. You don't get yes! anything. Yes! Gillian, you're all good. Freaking stretch it out, walk it off. So, Jay, you're going to find yourself more on edge, and you'll have disadvantage on saving throws to resist being frightened. What kind of creature do you fear the most? <laughs> Fatherly figures. Anything that reminds you of your dad? Yeah, things that remind me of my father. Maybe not necessarily like, ah, sure, even even raft people. Why not? Basically, if you come into combat with a creature that reminds you of your dad, you'll uh, you'll be frightened of it. Yeah, we should be lined. <laughs> That's not good. Chip, same things. You're going to take a little longer to do a short rest as you'll be a little bit more compulsive and on edge. Mm -hmm. You have disadvantage on perception checks as long as you have the compass on you. Uh, the first ability check saving throw attack roll you make today is at a disadvantage. Okay. Um, and you're all good after that. I just remember, you two remember those things. Yelling, yeah, you're fine. Let me roll for uh, Griffin and Queen. Oh dear. Okay, Queen's all good. Griffin takes a point of corruption. No, even with the plus four. Yes, even with the plus four. No. Damn, feeling violent today. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go fuck some shit up. When we wake up, I would like to give a ten-minute speech to all of my allies. Let me hear. I want the bullet points. All right, gang. Today, we're not gonna fucking die. All right? <laughs> Whatever you do, yeah! you see something bad, you run. And we cut yeah! we cut over to Wait, like what? four minutes later. And then when I was nine years old, I saw a bear in the woods and I ran away. You know what? I'm still here today. <laughs> still here. Still here. We cut over, no we cut over later. I never really dealt with it though. Like, you know, I just kind of like moved past it in my life without really thinking <laughs> about it much further. We move on later on. If you put the sugar in it, it makes it so much better. I never realized that until way later in my life than it should have been. You just pour it in and it's like, it's like good, it tastes good. You cut over to later. She died a horrible, horrible death. <laughs> Let's get out there. Chip, it's been an hour and a half, man. Wait, so how much sugar again? <laughs> yeah. Everybody gets 15 temp HP. Queen, Griffin, and the three of us. And one more person. Um... Can somebody just have overheard it? Igneous overheard it because he's outside bat, already bat, at this. Okay. At, at the right, crack he's got a, he's got 15 yeah, temp he, HP he and it was moving. And while we're here, <laughs> <laughs> and while okay, we're here, okay, okay. um, I'm gonna use, uh, I'm gonna cast aid at a fourth level. Yeah. Um, and all of us get uh, our maximum and current HP goes up by 20. As I, I use Chip's recipe that he shows us uh, with the <laughs> right amount of sugar. This is awesome. Yeah, we very rarely know what we're getting into for the yeah. day. So it's a good, this is a good call. Yeah. Especially after how that beetle kicked the shit out of us. Yeah, let's not get our shit kicked in again. So your goal is to head towards the palace, yes? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we obviously grab all our stuff from the uh, blacksmith as well. So Chip wanted studded leather and bracers that increase his AC? Yeah. Uh, how much does studded leather increase it by? One. Okay, so we'll say tentatively that your AC goes from 16 to 18? No, I had 15. I had 15. So it'll go from 15 okay, to 17. cool. Okay, it'll go to Shouldn't 17. Shouldn't have said a fucking word, should I? <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, it helps, though, because it is more balanced. If all of you have 20s and stuff above 20s, it is incredibly hard to hit you. And I'm just gonna st I'm just gonna stop rolling to hit. I'm just like, okay, everybody hits now forever. The only the only reason my AC is so good is because I'm a paladin and I walk around yeah, like a big a, no, no fucking armor. tank. And what? It, and in case you get that, you'll end up at 17. We'll put the items in later. Gillian, what did you want from your shield? You wanted it to be fixed and then plus one. Uh, yeah. If it's if it's possible, I it's just possible. I liked the idea of having it reinforced or or improved yeah. in some way because it had been. You know what I mean? 
Yeah, add it in the plus one. Do you use it all the time? Yeah, pretty much. I mean, I, I always have this shield on. Right, but you hold a weapon and a shield. How do you cast your spells normally? The the mechanical way I do it is paladins can have the holy symbol on the on the shield. So that's just what I do. That's how paladins do it. And then, Jay, you get the gun back. So you can add a pistol. Cool. Just regular pistol, not revolver. Dude, there's totally a ghost in that pistol. <laughs> Bro, what? It was what? from the battlefield. Gotta be a ghost in that pistol. You guys all get ready. Get your stuff. And... You're following Igneous to the exit of this um, subterranean haven. And you notice that, at least at the moment, Zamiya is not accompanying you. But he leads you out, up through the tunnels. There's one of them that has like a little rope ladder. And you emerge from another one of these egg-shaped buildings, and you end up back in that small abandoned town of the eggs. And he starts to walk towards the blighted, corrupted forest, heading towards the palace, which means that you're heading into this forest covered in these thick black webbing. And he looks back and he says, Won't be much of the hollow down this way. Reckon our biggest concern will be the spiders, so... Try not to get stuck in the webs. You got me. Got you. Um, and when he refers to the hollowed, he's talking about those corpses. That's what they call them. Okay. The ones that uh, lumber around. So when we were coming in here, uh, we were trying to cut down this tree. And I kept trying to set it on fire, and it just wouldn't. And then we tried to make it wet, and it didn't. <laughs> like, we just put water on it, and it just didn't. It just didn't. Do you know what that's all about? And if there's like a... The Black Sea seems to have corrupted uh, every place. Um, so in this environment, magic is almost unusable. Right. Okay. Stay here long enough. Might suck the magic out of you too. Oh man. But I don't need that. As he sheathes the massive rock greatsword. <laughs> don't got magic? Don't gotta worry about it. With that being said, though, creatures here are probably more resistant to magic, so uh, keep that in mind. I'll just hit him real hard. If he is stuck to the webbing, I just have to leave you behind. Um, keep that in mind. <laughs> <laughs> huh. Well, <laughs> it's been nice. Um, I'll, uh, I'll uh, deactivate my armor into the gauntlet so that I don't um, I probably self. immediately <laughs> fail the dex <laughs> check. <laughs> All right, um, you do so. King yeah. As you guys begin to trek through the webbed area of this forest, you can tell that it surrounds the perimeter of the palace as it stretches on these webs for miles and miles to the left and to the right as you head north. Go ahead and roll your first survival checks. Disadvantage for Jay and I, right? You have you have disadvantage on uh, your first ability check, yes, Chip? Oh, okay. I don't think Jay does. Are you fucking with me? What do you get? A natural 20 and a 7. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, no. I got a 6 total, guys. I got a 16. I got a 14 total. Robbed. Wait, no. 17. Reliable talent. So you begin to follow Ignis through. You're ducking through webs. You're stepping over them. You have to do a little bit of these, like, sort of, like, gymnastic contortions to get through some of the spaces in between. And when that part comes up in this journey, Gillian, you immediately feel one get stuck to your ankles. You fall over and trip, and you can feel your foot and, you're, like, your ankles stuck to one of the webs. And then and the pulled strength of this adhesive is insane. So, oh, uh, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh! Oh, sorry. I think I tripped on a rock. Uh oh, uh, it's not a rock. Gillian, no. Um, <laughs> shoot! Shh, keep your voices low. Ignia says. Okay. All right. Can, can we just cut it? Can we just cut the cut the web? Uh, everybody. Uh, Gillian, roll stealth. <laughs> <laughs> Gillian, roll stealth. What a fucking terrible phrase to come out of your mouth. Fourteen. That's actually pretty good for you. This web begins, it vibrates, and you watch the vibrations move throughout the web and then move throughout the forest of the other webs. Oh, is that, does that mean it's happy? Is that good? Just don't move. Okay, I won't move, but then how do I, I want to move. Listen, listen, Ignea says, Oi, if you're trolling cotton, they'll know we're here. Okay, so how do we get him out of here? Just try and pull it free, mate. Okay. I'm just going to start wiggling my foot around and try and like, kick it off. Um, okay, roll a strength check. 
Okay, strength check. Here we go. That is a. Oh, actually, I got a. I got a uh, twenty-one. Chip, are you doing anything? I am. Are you sure? <laughs> There's nothing more fear-inducing <laughs> than the "Are you sure?" Before he even answered. Before he even said <laughs> he what he was doing. He didn't even say. Like he got two words in. I am. Are you sure? <laughs> are you sure about that? You positive? <laughs> Not anymore. <All> right. <laughs> <laughs> I do nothing! Gillian, roll a survival check as you free your foot. A survival check! <laughs> making me roll shit, I'm gonna fucking... Uh, oh. Wait, 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 wait. I'm gonna use uh, the fucking genius. Genius, genius mode. My brain! Uh, I, I hey, brain Gillian, blast. don't I brain touch blast. any more webs or something, I guess. I, <laughs> Think about I it. brain blast. Uh, my oh, survival yeah. goes up from a 14 to an 18, well. then. Uh, survival's not really my thing. I was meant to die. <laughs> um, not for really Griffin good. and Queen. Survival. Oh, oh shit. Dear. Say it ain't so. So, <laughs> this is what happens. As you okay. free your foot, <laughs> oh, no. um, you stumble back, and one of your arms gets like kind of flung up, and then Griffin catches it before it hits another webbing. But as it happens, it sort of knocks Griffin back a little bit, knocks into Queen, and then Queen's shoulder gets stuck to a web. Oh, oh cool. La, 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 la. Oh, crap. Uh, Queen, let me help you out with that. I'm going to run over and try and pull him off the web. <laughs> okay, I'll, give, I'll let him roll with advantage, the strength check. Okay, okay. Um, And you see Igneous is like rubbing. Uh, <laughs> the, you can hear like the grinding of stone this as he's rubbing his temples. So south. Gillian, you go ahead and roll the strength check. They failed. They can't unstuck themselves. Can I, can, I guidance, can I guidance myself beforehand? Yeah. Is it 24? You free them? Roll another survival. Flash <laughs> <laughs> of genius, this one. Like, I mean, <laughs> why, why me? Nineteen. Okay. Nineteen. Nineteen. Uh, yeah, Nineteen. I guess. I'm rolling hot, boys. Stay away. Don't ask me. Don't ask me anything again. Everybody's unstuck, and you're able to continue forward. That could have been so much worse. So the first time I got stuck, what did I have to roll that caused me to get stuck? It was survival, right? Yeah. I feel like if that happens again, it will not go as smoothly. Uh, who's got bad survival? I know I do. I do either five. of you guys have, I have five plus five plus seven? You both have good survival. Then I'm just gonna enhance ability myself with a uh, um, fucking what's a random sea creature? The the wisdom of an eel. <laughs> Slippery, uh, slippery. I, I get slippery. I I use enhance ability and I get advantage on wisdom checks. And I sort of get more slippery and slimy and start weaving in and out of these things. I kind of get a little longer and weirdly tall. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, okay, that's 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 all I'll do then, is I'll just give myself advantage on, on the wisdom. You guys begin following Igneous forward, leading the way to the palace. Moving through the webs that stretch between one broken, blackened tree and another. Even though that they're like oily and black, they somewhat glisten and drip black oil oh. as you're stepping you can hear the <laughs> somewhat of these like twigs beneath your um boots your feet and you get a little further and it almost sounds like the trees themselves are whispering these ominous omens hey quiet it down we're with the we're with the tree we're with the tree, okay? Be chill. We're with the tree. You're all feeling this sense of danger and dread as you head towards closer and closer to the palace. Everybody roll survival. Okay, here we go. Here we go. You know what? It's my destiny to not fucking flub this for everyone. Um, all right, that's a 23. I got a 21. 23. I look over at Queen. <laughs> <laughs> and they look over at Griffin and Ichneus. And I say... All good back there, sport. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. Okay, who fucked up this time? Why is Grizzly looking like that? Why is he looking like that? You walk through. Everyone seems to be getting through a little smoother. Griffin misjudges his size and gets stuck on the back as he's sort of ducking beneath one of them. And he says, no, Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> don't worry. What do you mean, don't worry about it, Griffin? I assume everybody stops and sees him get stuck, right? Yeah. So he notices yeah. and he says, don't worry about it. You just keep going. I'll catch well, up. Well, that seems like a bad idea. No, here, do you need help, Griffin? I can I can help. He like reaches out a hand. Hey, you you got the W. You're a fucking breadwinner, Griffin. Okay? Don't get down on yourself. No, and I'm too gonna, many of us. 
are trying to get unstuck. It leads to more people getting stuck. No, -uh. I try and free him. <laughs> All right. I'll let him roll with advantage first. I think everybody, sh except for Gillian, who's helping, should just keep a distance so they don't get bumped into. He fails, unfortunately, by one. So, Fuck. Gillian, go ahead. Okay, I got a 20. 20? Roll survival? Right, 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 right. Roll survival. Okay. All right. I get advantage. So the first roll is an 18. Second roll is a 14. So 18 on the survival. You're actually doing pretty good. I know, and I know it's going to end out. It's going to stop soon. So we need to get we a move to on. We need to leave this forest of webs. <laughs> you continue heading, and at this point, you're starting to be able to see the gates to the palace and the surrounding wall that uh, uh, goes around its perimeter. But you also begin to hear scuttling. Um, Chip, was that you? Yeah, sorry. I ate something strange. And some of the webbing in front of you bounces up and down and you get the sense that whatever made these webs, they're closer and they're big so one last survival check nobody fucked this one up and i'm also gonna say everybody needs to inherently roll stealth as well oh god okay i i i i'm gonna destiny myself for the stealth check i'm gonna roll the survival oh I that's great. an 18 holy shit i got a 20 on survival and 30 on stealth 13 stealth Dude, for me, for me, I mean, I got a 19. So like that's at least two successes. I'm proud of you guys. Thank you. All I'm saying is that the the group average is 20. I'm bringing down the curve. A little, <laughs> a, little a little, a little. Bringing right. it down hard. That's all right. Oh, I forgot about the other group. Yeah, there's three other people with us. Yeah. Queen. Yeah. Oh Come man. No. This is why we just we get rid of the crew. We just go the three of us. I'm rolling really bad. I rolled like a two and a six. I think it's just a lot of rolls. You know yeah, what I mean? It's like, like someone many, is somebody's bound going to, to fail with six rolls. Someone, <laughs> someone's bound to get stuck. I guess we're killing a giant spider. All right. Well, I guess that's. I guess that's it. I mean, I guess we leave them. Like. <laughs> First chip. You exit the forest behind Igneous. And then Jay. Then Gillian. And then your crew, Queen and Griffin, both get stuck right at the edge. And oh, as they do, guys. to the left and the right, you see these hulking, fleshy, like mixed with flesh and black tendrils, these giant spiders with 16, like a row of 16 eyeballs going down their face, these sharp <laughs> fangs begin to slowly <laughs> crawl towards where Griffin and Queen are. Are you guys doing anything? Those are some weird crabs. Gillian, with me, the two of us together, we have the same spell. I'll get Griffin, you get Queen. Let's just run. We don't need to fight this. Jay, I think that's a really good <laughs> idea. Warp on three. <laughs> okay, one, two, three. <laughs> we both cast Vortex Warp and get both of them. <laughs> okay, <laughs> all right. I'm gonna, you, uh, who do you want to go for? I'll I, go for I, the I other get one. Griffin. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll get Queen. I think I'm gonna put Queen as a ha as far ahead of us, so 90 feet ahead of us as possible, and we just, we just start fucking bolting. So you do that, and boom, they both disappear, and the web snaps with them and kind of still stuck to them as they appear in the area. And you see that both these spiders shoot out this thick, uh, disgusting, gooey black webbing towards them, and it hits Queen, but the Queen gets vortexed anyways, and it just kind of goes with them, uh, and it completely misses. And you guys start bolting towards the palace run, entry. Run, you, 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 you sticky person. <laughs> run, 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 And you manage to start. <laughs> Both the spiders, as you look back, as you're running away, it doesn't look like they're going to chase, just to kind of like scuttle back into their, their webbed forest. And you eventually come up. You have to cross a bridge at one point, just kind of over the river that, uh, or not a river, but you just have to cross a bridge to get, uh, it's kind of like a moat that surrounds the walls. Uh, and then you get to the gate that is just an iron gate that you kind of see through and you look to see like an abandoned, corrupted city with a few of those, uh, the hollowed lumbering throughout the streets. Okay. What's the, what's the plan here, Igneous? Do you know where the, um, where the people are? I want to be where the people are. As one of my idols once said. I'll go, get through the city, 
Get to the palace unseen. All right. Get to the palace dungeon. Maybe that's where they're holding our friends, our family, the rest of the survivors. For you lot, I could definitely use help freeing people. Okay. As long as we get to the palace unseen, because they parole, I know that, mate. You mean patrol? You mean patrol? That's what I said. <laughs> I think something's in the air here in the Black Sea. Do you mean petrol? <laughs> like the oil? <laughs> no, it's... Petrol? The petrol sea? They patrol, that's what I was saying, mate. Patrol. Pastrami? The, the, <laughs> they perceive and while strolling, mate. That's how it works. What? Yeah. Oh, pest. Wait, pesto? Like the oh, sauce? Oh, it's pasta. You think it'll like spaghetti or something, right? No, you're thinking, no, you're thinking of paddling okay, in okay. a kayak. Shh. Okay, okay. <laughs> you guys, you lot take life way too lightly. I love it. Good change of pace. But look, once we're in there, it's heavy shit. You get caught by one of them. I don't care how powerful you are. All right, you ran into the collector. These fiends are no joke. Are they all as strong as the collector? Collector ain't the captain. Captain's always the strongest. Well, see, I've got an idea for the captain, right? I've just got to get in there really sneakily. <laughs> He's like caressing the forgetful dagger. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yeah, I think I have an idea, too. If I can be honest, Jay, I think I'm going to freaking botch this for everyone if I try and slip in here. Could you could you put me in the mirror and then just if shit goes south, you can just drop me like a bomb? Yeah, I mean, that's actually, such a good idea. A great idea, actually. I just don't want to be the guy that steps on like the pile of glass and then the or monster like notices it. Or, yeah, I get yeah, you. Yeah, it's just... And that's usually me, so... Once we're going sneaking mode, you you can go in the mirror for a bit. And that'll work. Sounds good. Okay. Okay. As long as we stay together, nothing will be too big of an obstacle. That's like a really ominous thing to say. It sounds like we're going to get split up somehow. <laughs> la 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 la. I mean, yeah, I was kind of thinking about maybe we could split up and Gillian could actually just cause a distraction before, but like... Now that you said that, huh? <laughs> now that, that that's also an idea I wouldn't mind. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's just now Up that you Queen guys. said that, I feel like I feel like it's not a good one. Ignis begins to head in. Here, I'll, uh, why why don't I reflect on it? I look at the mirror. Rah! Get sucked in. <laughs> Ignis says, "I used to be a guard for the city, so I know my way around the back streets." Is there like any yeah back door? Oh fuck yeah, back streets back. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so. You guys begin to head in, following yep. behind Ignis. Mm -hmm. What you don't see, as we move through the streets past you guys, all the way up the countless steps to the entry of the palace, inside the palace, into some interior, a great hall, you see this massive, translucent, glowing red sack. That seems to pulse boom, boom, with veins that sort of almost like a uh... like nuts. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I, I I have never had that. <laughs> I just Why had the the, fuck, the intrusive thoughts Why one. The fuck? Man. <laughs> Shit. I get it. No, I get it. I do. No, I know. Almost like a an organ as these vessels run through it and then more of these sort of like veins attached to the walls of this great hall and this is suspended above a intricate looking throne and in front of it this tall slender silhouette they say it seems we have visitors my love a shame you won't be able to meet them. And that's where we end the session. Ooh, they know. Shit, boys, we're fighting fucking nuts! Oh my god! <laughs> level four spell testicular torsion. Can I get a level? I want to take the neuter advantage. <laughs> Gross! <laughs> Hey, what's up guys? It's me, Condi. I'm just here to thank our awesome $50 patrons who support us every month, such as Goodest Vlad, Agar Steeljaw, Mr. Anderson 1078, Mephobia Man, 
Erin Moment, Mr. Magic Fingers, Water Lenny, Alistair Sussy, Broderick Motif, Final Fan, Palo G Gash, Certified Cringe Fail Loser Boy, Haribo, Alderic, EMT3, Erica Moon, Kojo Wo, A Pirate with Gout, Mr. C, Gubluck Whisper, Nova Sink, Hababa Gagaba, Kini Ghosts, Willustrator, It's C Fresh, Me Forever Mate, Sarazaku, Charlie Darling Songbird, Aqua the Kaizoku, Bazozo, Ikofu, Cadus Betus, Titan Storm, Luke Rambu, Lemon Leviathan, Unstable Chaotic Cracker, Hollow Headed, A Moon Beast Fan, Trite Metal, Taxi Boy, Vapor, Call in the Bar, I'm Butt Flusting, Beans, Pupper in a Spacesuit, J Aids 2604, Joey Madness, Pippin the Alchemist, Sweet Cacti, Baca 7, Cal's The Folded Pizza Zone, The Awesome Man, Amber Curry, Chillium Vibe Strider, Man Made Imp, Jordan Darling, I Am in Your Walls, Mr. Nacho, Wild James, Kev Senpai, Bisley's Burger, Mitchell Iverson, Mithril Gear 417, Boss Goat, Captain Lafayette and Crew, Narwhal Shellfish, Probins, Mushi is Vibing, Deathclaw, Sandy 007, Blue Blend Blop, Big Blue Bear Boy, Zerberus, Elvish Cyborg, Lord Ticklefish, Spinyaks, Buttery Toast, Luckiest Valentine, Silv Soul, Jason the Fricker, you wouldn't, 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 you wou